Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be filming a splits tutorial. I have been highly requested this video from you guys via Instagram. Pretty much what we're going to do is go through my top drills for this skill. A little information before we get into it, I do want you guys to know that splits is a long journey. You need to dedicate time and you need to be consistent with your training to be able to achieve maximum results. You can't be expecting to get splits straight away. So I'm gonna take you through the drills that will lead into consistent training you guys can do for weeks, months, years to be able to get your maximum flexibility split. Alrighty, first up we're going to do a quick little warm up of the hips. So we're staggering our legs, dropping each knee to the ground to the left and then to the right. Then we're going to lie down on our back and do the same movement with our legs. This just opens up the hips a little further as we've got that thoracic extension as well. Once we've done those, we're going to go into some simple knee to chest elevations. The way you want to be lying down is resting on your elbows so you're not doing too much core work and we're focusing more on the warm up of those hip flexors. So we're going to do about five on each leg and then we're going to add in a rotation round to the side. So up to the chest, rotate round to the side, back down to the bottom. You should really feel this hip flexor muscle working to try and go through that whole motion. From there, we're going to start by standing up, leaning over, trying to be as close to your toes as possible. Then we're going to inch forward a tiny bit, really focusing on dropping the heels in these positions. So we're trying to stretch out our Achilles, our calf muscles, our hammies, and really focus on that rear side of our body, of our lower body. We're going to inch all the way back in as well. Try and hold each position for a couple of seconds. Really feel that stretch. And then we're going to move into our deep lunges. When you do these deep lunges, you need to make sure that the back knee is not touching the ground and you're really pushing forward with your hips. I just open up a little bit so I could open up that chest as well. Not needed in your stretching though. We're gonna swap over to the other side, exactly the same position. And we're gonna finish up with the straddle stretch swaying from side to side. Really, really trying to release all the muscle tension in the hammies in this one. After that, we're going to go back into a pike stretch and we're actually just gonna bend one knee. You guys will feel how full on this is on the leg that is straight. Next stretch we have is our lunge series and we're gonna start with our 90 degree lunge. What you need to really focus on in this one is the under hip rotation. So we're pushing our hips forward and really trying to squeeze our glute under our hips. We're going to push it a little bit more. I'm going to pick up the back leg, really try and stretch out that quad on that leg as well and do the same position with the hips and motion into a deeper lunge, making sure that our knees never cross the top of our toes. From there, we're going to lean back, straighten the front leg, into a hamstring stretch, bum is staying in the air, chest as close to your leg as possible. This is what's going to make the stretch feel hard. You can also flex your toes up as well and that just creates a little bit more tension around those calf muscles and Achilles. And we're going to finish up with the pigeon stretch. If you guys want to, at the end of this stretch you can pick up your back leg and again just stretch out that back quad. And we're going to repeat this whole process on the other side.
now that we are nice and warmed up with our basic stretches, so we're going to go into an actual split hold. However, we are going to try and grab two pieces of equipment of any sort. It could be bedside tables, it could be absolutely anything. I'm using chocks in this position and we're going to use our arms to really hold our weight in these positions. So you are in your splits, hips must be straight, making sure you're not twisting to any side. And again, hold your weight with your arms and really try and lower ourselves by slowly, slowly letting ourselves drop down with time. So I would recommend anywhere between five to 10 seconds for each little area, each little push, and try and get down to your max with arms up in the air, both arms up in the air, if possible. If that's not a comfortable or doable position for you, then just stick with holding your body weight up through your arms, through your upper body. We're gonna get Tanya to have a go, just so you guys can see what this would look like on someone who has a pretty average mobility. So she's going to swap arms where the weight is just to really try and focus on putting the weight into the legs rather than the arms. And then she's going to come up and if this is you, we would be swapping legs. Make sure you do both legs. Now our last little segment, which may be the most important for you, is for the people that are a couple of inches, three inches or less away from the ground and they really just can't get that flat split. You guys are going to start doing some overstretching. So, looks crazy, I know, but it's the best way to get that little bit extra so you guys can be flat on the ground. We're going to place our foot on an elevated surface and we're going to get into our split hold. We're going to lift up one arm, swap arms, make sure you're comfortable in your position. And then we're going to be doing a 10 second hold with your arms up in the air. Really, really trying to push as low as you can in this stretch. So we're only doing interval holds. Make sure you guys push it and then relax and rest, swapping over to the other side. Hope you guys enjoyed that one and got a little bit of information as to how to split and how to train to get your splits. Please, please tag me in any videos or photos that you guys have of your splits journey. I would love to see them and I'll see you guys on my next video.